Hey everyone, welcome back to Blog and Good Food. I'm your host John, and today we are tackling a handy kitchen trick: freezing squash. There are actually two ways to freeze squash, and today we'll walk through both, so you can choose the method that best suits your need. Method one: quick freeze for sauteing. This method is perfect if you plan to use the squash for stir fries or quick sauteing. Prep the squash. Wash and trim the end of your squash. Cut them into bite-sized pieces, thin cubes or slices. Flash freeze. Spread the squash pieces in a single layer on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Pop the tray in the freezer for about an hour or until they are frozen solid. Bag and label. Once frozen, transfer the squash pieces to a freezer bag. Squeeze out as much air as possible and seal it tight. Don't forget to label the bag with the date. Method two: blanch and freeze for all uses. This method is ideal if you want to use the squash for everything, from sauteing to casseroles. Prep the squash, similar to before. Wash and trim the squash. Cut them into your desired size. Blanch the squash. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Add the squash pieces and cook for just a two minute until they are tender crisp. Cool it down. Immediately transfer the squash to a bowl of ice water to stop the cooking process. Drain well. Freeze and label. Once cool, spread the squash on a baking sheet and freeze for an hour. Then transfer them to a freezer bag. Squeeze out air. Label and freeze. Tips and tricks. Use freezer safe bags. Invest in good quality freezer bags to prevent freezer burn. Portion control. Consider portioning the squash into amounts you typically use for recipes. This makes grabbing what you need a breeze. Label it up. Labeling with a date helps you keep track of how long the squash has been frozen. With this simple method, you can freeze your summer squash bounty and enjoy its deliciousness all year long. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing to our channel. For more delicious food tips and tricks, don't forget to check out our website for even more recipes and inspirations.